Johnny J Rock is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube people channel. Oh, to do another reaction. We're back one more again with that hilarious genius himself, the one and only Ace Vane. He got a FU Scooby Doo volume one. Hi, Hi J Rock has come back. What is happening in in, in in with the millions? <laughs> and millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, baby J-Rock is here. We got the one and only Ace Vane with a new volume, F.U. Scooby-Doo. If you're not subscribed to Ace Vane, go subscribe to him. This brother's hilarious. Doing his thing for a minute right here on YouTube, so go subscribe to him. Make sure you also lay up the smack them down on J-Rock's subscribe button, all right? Uh, if you enjoy the content, hit that thumbs up button and um, hit that super thanks button for me as well. All right? Let's get right to it, baby. Showtime. Hey gang, Fred Jones of Mystery Inc. here, and I wanted to talk to you today about something that's been bugging me. You see, when it comes to the Ace Vane brand, there's a certain level of respect that needs to be maintained. And as of late, y'all really got my bro fucked all the way up. You stank-ass pages ran by niggas wearing dirty K-Swiss and true religion, y'all are go keep traveling down fuck-around road until you find out. When you see that Ace Vane tag, you leave it the fuck alone. That tag indicates the video is a masterpiece. So let's get it straight, and let's get it right. Respect the Ace Vane tag. You fucking middle of the mall bust down sterling silver chain having curved cologne and dirty washcloth smelling. Bastards, cunt, bitch, you! I think we better split up, gang. Daphne and oh, I will- Oh, hell no. You're just trying to fuck Daphne again. No, I'm not! Velma, shut your frumpy ass up! Okay, if we split up, I'm going with you then. No, your musky ass is not! Oh, you can't throw nobody else on the team, no dick? See, that's that bullshit. Bitch, ain't nobody about to throw you no dick while you out here smelling like a hot NBA locker room during double overtime in the sixth game. You've been wearing that sweater since September 1969. Fuck you, Fred. You fucking wish, you musky mushroom goblin bitch. All right, time to see who's really hiding behind this mask. That's the guy who keeps asking for pictures of my feet. The same guy who paid me for a foot job. Zoinks! Like that's the guy who keeps trying to buy weed from me using Fred's foot job sex tape. Yeah, and I would've got away with it too if it wasn't for you men and like, hey, what's up? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all must have some different kind of ghosts around here because I ain't never seen a ghost head explode and die. It's, it's already dead. Ain't that redundant? He wasn't a ghost. He was alive as fuck. Oh, for real? Oh, shit. So, so what kind of policy y'all got on murder? Y'all got like a one strike uh, warning thing? Or? You're fired, nigga. Hold on, what the fuck you mean? Again, Fred, you done lost your fucking mind? Wait, wait, hold on, I mixed. Like, like. God damn it, I lost my glasses again. Yuck, what the hell are you doing, Velma? I'm looking for my glasses. You could at least have the decency to put an arch in that shit. Huh? Oh my god, gross! What is that? That's Velma's undesirable cringe body having ass. Ain't no way! I thought it was some sort of humanoid deformed dying rat bear giving birth! At least put an arch in that shit, Velma! Facts! That's what I'm saying! I knew I wasn't tripping. She's built like a wounded camel fetus! Bitch built like a wilted crescent moon that's given up on the night sky! Built like a sagging bridge in a children's drawing! This is the type of shit that just pisses me off! It is face down ass up, not ass down face up! Velma, look! You see how I'm Busting it open? God, bail! You gotta really lean into it and let the arch take over. Almost turn your body into a question mark. The top of your ass damn near should touch the back of your head. A nigga won't last two strokes in this. I'ma put my whole head inside that tonight. Uh, what? You want me to what? God damn it, what is so hard to understand? Stuff your underwear in her mouth! Come on, Velma, put them in my filthy mouth. Why would I do that? Because it's fucking sexy. How is this sexy? Don't knock it until you try it. Now feed me them draws. But I've been sweating like a Jamaican marathon runner. Mmm, that means they're marinated with flavor. Gross! I thought this was a regular threesome, not an E.L. James novel. This isn't a threesome, Velma. 
this is a freak off. A what? God, you're so fucking lame, Velma. A freak off. Fred tells us what to do while he watches and pleasures himself. Oh, nah, you guys are way too freaky for me. And I'm pretty nasty, but I'm regular nasty. You annoying Urkel mop top beetle bitch. Fred, calm down. It's okay. She's just not into it. I am on a honey pack, half a Cialis, a Red Bull, and two gas station dick pills, and harder than counting grains of sand in a desert storm. Don't tell me to calm down, bitch. <laughs> All right, gang, everything is set. As soon as Shaggy and Scoob lead the villain back here... I pull a lever to release the net above the entrance. And that's when I shoot him in the face. Huh? The fuck? The hell are you doing with a gun? I take that tall on me. The fuck you thought this was? We don't use guns, Fred. We use Scooby Snacks and Trap Doors. And Glock 19. God damn it, no, the we don't. What the fuck is wrong with you, Fred? You know what the problem is? It's about respect. It's about power. You see, around here, we're invisible. They don't see us. They don't care about us. But I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being stepped on and overlooked. But you know what really gets you power? It's not just money or muscle. Nah, it's fear. Fear makes you the king of the streets. When they fear you, you can do anything. You control them. I'm done playing by their rules, playing it safe. It's time they see us. It's time they fear us. That's the only way we'll ever get our juice. Oh my god, so dumb! Huh? That ascot must be cutting off the oxygen to his right. brain. You sound dumber than breadsticks at a barbecue. I can't believe you let this fool smash! Bitch, don't remind me. I'm about to figure out how to unfuck somebody. I'm talking about some real shit right now. You hold on, just don't. Oh shit! <gasps> oh my god, he's dead! Okay, grab this rug, roll him up, and we'll throw him in the river. You killed him! Grab this fucking rug or your neck. <laughs> All right, gang. Let's see who this power bottom really is. Holy fuck! You're a dude! He's been throwing these luxurious orgies with a hip-hop mogul and tricking everyone. And if it was not for you cock-blocking bitch ass-cracker children, I would have been swallowed up. Oh my god! I almost got some Golly. head from this guy. Uh, what? I thought it was a woman. He's wearing a dress. And he kept asking about swallowing. Stop looking at me like that. It was only the tip. Hey everyone, I'm making this video because on the last episode where I busted open like a champ, I ended up saying something that didn't sit well with a lot of you. I used a word that really struck a nerve with an entire community. Since that moment, I've been on a journey of self-reflection. You know, long walks on the beach, staring off into the horizon, diving deep into my thoughts. I've been grappling with the real weight and power of words, their ripple effects, and how they touch lives. It's been quite the eye-opener. And now, after all this introspection and soul-searching, I've reached a profound epiphany. Fuck all y'all niggas. I'm a goddamn cartoon. I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. Well, J Rock says this. Ace Vane, that brother is hilarious. Some of these I've already seen. A couple of them I haven't already. Still funny, even though I've seen them again. Uh, but yeah, keep them coming, Ace Vane, brother. Uh, this is hilarious. Y'all know what to do. Post your comments down below. Let J Rock know which side of his reaction to this. Video, no rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great ones' reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to get left. Thanks for joining J Rock. Stay tuned for the next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. If you smell, ah, J Rock. Yeah.